Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the 423. My last video was about Lemonhead LA, an indie makeup brand accusing ColourPop of copying some of their products. You can watch that video and make your own opinion about the matter, but my basic sentiment was that people need to stop accusing others of stealing when they didn't create something to begin with. I mention that now because today I'm going to talk about Lord accusing Kanye West of copying her stage design, which is the same sort of situation, and I have a lot of problems with the way Lord went about this, so let's discuss. On November 11th, Kanye West and Kid Cudi closed out Camp Flogna with their first live performance as Kid See Ghosts. Both of them were suspended in a transparent cube for the entirety of the show, and it was awesome. I am a Kanye fan and a Kid Cudi fan, but without trying to be too biased, just visual-wise, I thought the performance was really dope. The next day, Lord decided to go on Instagram and throw some shade by posting screenshots from her most recent tour, comparing them to the photos from the Kid See Ghost set. Lord also had a suspended box for her tour and for her Coachella performance prior to that as well. Now, it's one thing for her to post comparison pictures and be petty, I completely get that, but what I really have a problem with is her last slide where she added text and wrote, I'm proud of the work I do and it's flattering when other artists feel inspired by it to the extent that they try it on themselves, but don't steal, not from women or anyone else, not in 2018 or ever. Beside this sentence being extremely redundant, I found it incredibly unnecessary for her to try and make this about women versus men. Just say, don't steal. Don't make it about stealing from women because this has literally nothing to do with you being a woman or Kanye being a man. To me, this feels like her trying to find something for people to get behind. So by her trying to make it some sort of feminist narrative, maybe she thought people would be able to get behind her, but she just should have kept it at don't steal if she was going to say anything at all. Beside that, the other problem with this is that one, Laura didn't invent floating boxes and she most definitely wasn't the first to use them in a stage show, and two, if we really want to talk about copying, Lord isn't so innocent herself. Let's look at a few pictures here from some popular tours that have happened in the past couple of years. Rihanna's Auntie Tour in 2016. Maybe not a floating box, but wow, does it look strikingly similar. Next, here's a photo from Justin Bieber's Purpose Tour, also happened in 2016. This one looks way closer to what Kanye and Kid Cudi were in this weekend, and once again, it happened before Lord took her whole floating box bit on tour. Also, I couldn't find a picture of it, but I personally went to a Justin Bieber concert in high school, which was around 2012-2013, and he had the similar floating contraption, so that wasn't even the first time that Justin has done it. Here's another picture from 2007 of the English National Opera, which just shows how long this idea has been around and has been executed. This was before Lord was even in high school. Now, here's where things get really interesting. S. Devlin is actually the one who posted this photo from the opera, of which she posted three in a row. If you didn't know who she is, she's a stage designer who has worked with both Kanye and Lord in the past. Devlin has been working with Kanye since his Touch the Sky tour in 2005 and didn't start her work with Lord until about 10 years after that. In an interview prior to all this drama, Lord claimed that she is the one who came up with this floating box idea all on her own, but Devlin is actually the one who designed the stage for her Coachella set. A set which just so happened to be a year after Kanye's St. Pablo tour where he had a floating stage, also designed by Devlin. After tapping her for her Coachella stage design, following her work on Kanye's tour, Lord copied the entire set and brought it on tour with her, so technically isn't that stealing from a woman? And speaking of taking ideas from Kanye's book, this photo from that same Lord tour in 2018 looks strikingly similar to something Ye did in 2013 on his Yeezus tour. So, if we're trying to hold people accountable here, Lord might want to sit this one out because things are looking a little suspect in the light. Like I mentioned in my previous video, people need to stop getting in their feelings over things that don't belong to them. Kanye did a whole tour on a floating stage, which, by the way, he didn't originate either, in 2016. So, you probably shouldn't accuse him of copying you when all he did was make that floating stage into a box two years later. 
It is 2018. 99% of things we see being created are not original concepts, and it's almost impossible for them to be. I know it sucks to see people doing things you feel like you have ownership of, but literally all Lord had to do was Google floating box to find out that she did not come up with this idea. Intellectual property is so hard to track, but with the internet nowadays, people can prove you wrong in two seconds, so please be humble. But of course, I want to know what you guys think about this whole situation. Do you think that Lord has a reason to be mad or is she making an issue out of nothing when she copied the design in the first place? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe to The 423 for more videos. And if you enjoyed this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.